pleasure and honor one more time within a week to be part of the inauguration of a new road. Just about a week ago, it was Lamin Koto Pasemas. This time, the Sukuta to Jambangeli Road, another achievement by the present government. Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, this new road is a two lane dual carriageway, except at Jambangeli, where the road narrows because of encroachment of properties. And as earlier mentioned, the total cost of this project, I mean, let me adjust it, is actually 27.7 million US dollars. 22.5 million is coming from the Islamic Development Bank and US 2.5 million from the Gambia government. That is over $250 million. Let me take this opportunity, therefore, to thank the Islamic Development Bank for their support. Let me also thank my colleague, the Minister of Finance and Economic Affairs, Honorable Mahmoud Njai, for his support on the very difficult circumstances. I want to recognize equally the performance of the implementing agency, Gunworks, for the final completion of this project. For some of you who may not know, the project was faced with a serious challenge in the form of a very large water main in the middle of the road. And the project had to seek additional funding to overcome this constraint. Gunworks continues to prove its capacity to deliver projects in various sectors, as was mentioned by his, the MD. And as the first director general of the agency, I am proud and I wish to con congratulate the current director general, Mr. Ibrahim Acham, and his team. That is the technical director, Omar Gay, the Technical and Administrative Director, Sajo Ja, and the Project Manager of this project, Bubakar Diba. And I wish to tell them, and I am telling them, to continue the good work of the agency, which was started about 20 years ago in 1993 and is still standing in good stead. I want to recognize the efforts of the consultant study international, especially Mr. Karamo and Mafus Engineering, Mr. Hydera, and the contractor Ariski Ali Ariski. These firms made it possible, and I wish to congratulate them all. I will take the, uh, this opportunity to implore the National Roads Authority, NRA, to ensure regular inspections and maintenance of the road. I wish also to implore the road users to play their roles properly. We all know that overloaded trucks will cause rapid decay of the road and will reduce the lifespan. We have an axle load policy which we are implementing to address this issue and we require their cooperation, especially the cooperation of our transport union, who I know the members are here. Truckers that carry sand over this road should know that they should cover their sand because it is spilling on the road and is becoming a safety hazard. And it accelerates the wearing of, of the road markings and the road surface itself. They should cover their sands, as I said. The property owners along the road should also avoid encroaching on the right of way of, the, of this road, because that too is a safety hazard and prevents provision of utilities and future development. 
This is just to say that the serviceability and the maintenance of this road require the involvement of all the stakeholders, NRA, road users, truckers, property owners, and the transport union. Excellencies, guests, ladies and gentlemen, I now wish to thank the organizers of this ceremony, namely the ministry and its staff, especially the permanent secretary, Mor Sise, and his team. I want to thank the officers of the, the officers of the office of the vice president, the National Roads Authority, Gunworks, the different branches of the security forces, Moisey, GRTS, and the Gambia Printing and Publishing Corporation. I also want to thank EPM uh, for these magnificent settings. I wish to thank you all. My final thanks, ladies and gentlemen, goes to His Excellency, the President Adam Obaro. for his support, for his leadership, and for his vision. As you may all notice by now, this is, if you care to notice, that this country is moving forward. His Excellency is in the lead, and nothing can stop this. Nothing can stop this country. And thank you for listening.